I am back. I'm sitting in a more comfortable chair than the hard chairs that we have with our kitchen table. So let me guess. Did you break a chair, Chantal? I'm suspecting yes. Yeah, so I'm doing a um, have dinner with me type of mukbang. I have a mystery box here. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so we have... Let's take this out. Yo, that's a lot of bread, Chantal. That's not diabetes friendly. Ooh. We have some Kuwaiti food. Julia, do you want this box? Of course you do. I have a wine glass with ice. Okay. And this is just a freshly squeezed... A wine glass? Now, why do you have a wine glass in your home, Chantal? Inquiring minds want to know. It's like they just juiced it right now. <laughs> Pomegranate juice. Okay. Oh, it's like iced. So it's like frozen or something. Wow. Yum. What the heck? <laughs> okay, For well. the love. Hmm. Anyways. Yeah, there's that. Julia, you cannot have any of this. I have a delicious looking um, pomegranate salad. That salad actually looks quite good. I, I keep um, little containers of pomegranate seeds in my fridge because I do like them in yogurt on cottage cheese and things like that. And salads are real good. So very healthy, Chantal. With lemon. Why do the seeds have to come out? I hate that. So it's pomegranate and roca with a pomegranate dressing. Very refreshing. See, now with me, because I saw exactly you know what she had in the box the entree salad bread whatever for me i could eat that salad and one piece of bread and that would be a good dinner for me because i would dip my bread into the dressing because that's uh one of my guilty pleasures as i like a really good olive oil some really good balsamic vinaigrette and, some, and a nice fresh baguette and you dip that in there that's so good but can't have that a lot because it's bread and it's not good for you. Okay. Yes. And the pièce de résistance is this homemade bread. That's a lot of bread. I'm super hungry. That As is a usual. lot of bread. This bread. Whoa. Salad. Let's try this juice. Bismillah. Mmm. Mmm. Very tart. Let's keep that wine Do glass like as close to like the, the edge as you can so it'll fly like onto the floor. I like eating them in salad, but just by themselves, the seeds are a bit too crunchy. Sorry if it's moving. Not if you have good teeth. Beezing. This is this is called um, hamis, and hamis is like chicken chunks. Chicken with chunks. Potatoes, that sounds potato, appetizing. Batata in Jesus Arabic. Christ. Chicken and batata, hamis, oh. and it has peppers, tomatoes. What? It's I'm like surprised a she didn't Onions. say chicken it's so carcass. Good. You eat it with bread. <laughs> I want to try the salad. Yeah, peppers, pomegranates. Beauty bite. Mmm.
taking my lipstick off. I don't want collagen lip gloss in my food. Collagen lip gloss. Okay. So you take some bread and you eat it like that. I don't find it spicy, maybe a little bit. And honestly, you know what I would do? Uh, maybe it's because I'm from Southern California, but those look like tortillas to me. And I would take that stuff, put it in the middle and fold that bread up like a tortilla and call it a day. And it's, um, get away from my salad. <laughs> it's, um, breast meat. So. So you don't like it? My favorite is the breast meat. I don't like dark meat as much. But I'll still eat it sometimes, like with wings. Oh my or god, chicken legs the salad, salad, digging in the salad. Please stop. Please. Yum. So what are you going to talk about, Shanta? The vinaigrette tastes similar to a balsamic. I, I'm curious to see what she talks about in this video, considering um, her health, her personal life, her um, relationship. Relationship are going to be off limits now. So um, what her content will be. I mean, I hope it's not going to be... Uh, talking about gamer content because you suck at playing games you're you're horrible um what else are you going to talk about food weird stories from your childhood i mean i don't even know what you're going to talk about but it's made with pomegranate molasses it's so good okay i'm gonna put some this makes me laugh but there's this creator on tiktok the guy with the list God, the way you, the way you open your mouth and like extend your lower jaw, it almost reminds me of a, a freaking excavator that you see at a construction site. The way she extends her jaw and scoops out, it's fascinating. He makes a list of things that give girls ick. You know, like the ick, when you get the ick from like a dude or something. Some of the things are really weird. And one of the things the girl said was, Chantal, I know you watch all of our videos for the love of God. One thing that you do in these videos, can you please stop, is you say something like, well, what she said was, and then you take a bite of food. So then we have to sit here through your jaw clicking and your um, unclo uh, unclosed mouth chewing the food until you get to the response. Uh, don't do that. It's annoying. It's that's uh, ew, ick factor, what you're talking about. That's ick factor for all of us. Um, when a man orders white meat, Factor. Well, I don't know. Some of them are weird. It makes for. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's your ick, ick factor, Chantal? Because we know you've set the bar for yourself really, really low. Um, poop. <laughs> poop. The whole poop shit thing. That's okay by you. So, why? Like, I'm curious to know uh, what your ick factor would be. 
Been love. <clears throat> Have you guys ever had Roca? Oh my god. It's like a peppery green. I mean, is there a knife in that packet? Can you cut the lettuce at least? Jesus. Julia. It's like cattle grazing in a field. Mm. She doesn't know how to hold a wine glass. Shocking. I cannot tell you how elated I am that I can sit here and do this video. It is like... Imagine that. Imagine um, having debilitating sciatic pain where it makes you bedbound, um, allegedly. And you finally get that moment where you can do a video for your subscribers and your fans and it's so exciting for you because you're so happy that you're able to sit in front of a camera and stuff your face with food damn chantal that sucks I don't even know, like maybe nine days or something. It was over a week, I think. There's no way. There's just no way I could do that. <laughs> I couldn't sit. It was worse. So, yeah. I mean, I've already talked about this part of my house, so it's nothing new, but I'm grateful. Alhamdulillah. What, that you can sit in front of a camera and stuff your face? And, and you say we're jealous of this. Wow. But I'm not in pain. If you keep eating like that, you're going to be in pain again. like that's one of those things you experience to really know what it's like i've actually had sciatica one time and it lasted um maybe two three days um i didn't go to the doctor i didn't get any narcotics the one thing that helped me was getting up and moving around it hurt like hell but you have to get up and move around. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know exactly what um, uh, drugs or whatever she was taking. I'm thinking it was for the neuropathy because she has um, nerve issues going on now. But I don't know. We'll see. Time will tell. Well, my grandmother had it pretty bad. And she used to complain about it. And sometimes I, you know, would massage her sore area. But I never really understood, like, mm, how bad. I thought maybe it was just a... Oh, and I wanted to say, actually, when I got the sciatica, it was actually when, uh, um, a few years ago, I had broken my foot... And I had surgery. I have, um, I've actually broken my foot and my ankle. So I have, um, two plates and, uh, nine pins in my 
right ankle. Um, it was actually during then I, I was laying in bed and I was, I guess I fell asleep laying in a certain position and I woke up and like, I guess I uh, compressed the nerve, the sciatic nerve. And then that's when I woke up and I had it. So it wasn't because I'm carrying um, 300 pounds in my abdomen like Chantal. It wasn't for that reason. All ache, but no, it's like a legit huge pain. It's bad. I mean, I thought I, I would never heal. I don't know why, but. Oh my God. I don't understand. How can you say that you're feminine when you're literally shoving that Amazon sized piece of salad in your face hole? Have some class, Chantal. I know it's hard. The way you anyway. dig in that salad is a trigger. Please stop. I'm very thankful for that. <laughs> and another thing I, I want to comment, I'm talking a lot. I don't know why, but another thing, um, she said that she couldn't take it. She was in bed for nine days. Okay, when I broke my foot, my ankle, I actually, I got... A Liz Frank injury. You guys can look that up and Google it. Basically, I crushed all the top part of my foot, the the toes. I crushed all of those, and they didn't know if they had to put um, cadaver bones in there. Thank God they didn't. But I was in bed literally for three months. Yes, that's when I like got into um, tattooing and things like that because I had nothing else to do. But yeah, so try that, Chantal. Oh, this bread is so fresh. I love it. And this is the best thing. I crave it all the time. I could make this, I'm sure, but... Yeah, why not? I'm not going to make that. Maybe I will try to make it. I've been craving shepherd's pie. Not shepherd's pie, cottage pie. Shepherd's pie is made with lamb. I don't understand why you crave all these, um... And I prefer beef. All these... Mm. I don't want to say... What do I want to say? I don't want to, like, um... Stereotype the food, but... I will. Like, English type of food. When you're in the Middle East with all this fabulous food. And you're craving, like, chicken pot pies and crap. Your palate is so horrible, hungry. Chantal. <laughs> For the love, stop so digging in that have salad. My, like, kitchen organized. Wait a minute. What? What do you mean? Having your kitchen organized. Your kitchen is literally like 12 by 12. What the hell are you going to organize in there? What? Are you going to organize that plastic shelf that's way, way, way too close to your um, stove? Is that what you're going to organize? So I can do some cooking. Like for videos because, uh, like for videos. I've just been having like simple As opposed to uh, your like husband that's MIA. That like that.
You know what I'm kind of wondering? I'm kind of wondering if this room that she's sitting in is not actually the living room, but do you remember the room that she would um, sit in? And she said it was the room that they had um, Howie, the rat fink in, that extra room, that YouTubing room or whatever that they said they were going to turn it into. I'm wondering if this is the room that she's filming from because the dimensions look like it i don't think it's as big as um the living room especially the length from the wall to the window i'm just wondering what do you guys think If I do these videos, I'm just gonna have dinner with you guys. I haven't had punch. You know, one thing I'd like to say is most nights I eat dinner by myself because my husband, um, works the night shift so by the time you know dinner's done and stuff uh i'm usually just it's just me and my kids so you know i can understand um some women might not eat dinner with their husbands but you chantal i think it's kind of odd you don't even hear a sound from him it sounds like he's not even in the apartment not in so long actually so This is amazing. <laughs> I wish you could try it. The potatoes are so soft. Yeah. Oh, double mm. carbs, bread and potatoes. Fabulous. And she lost uh, 13 pounds, guys. Very right? filling Didn't with the bread, though. 13 pounds laying in bed. A lot of restaurants here make their own bread. It's so fresh and delicious. Oh my god, fresh. Fresh is the word of the day. Mm. These kinds of things people eat with pita instead of a fork, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, they do, but they do it in a graceful manner, uncompared to, like, you? What? I mean, you can't even use it, a, a utensil properly. Oh yeah, this is a Kuwaiti dish. I mean... Well, you are in Kuwait. Is so good. Every time she does that, I think of a cow going, I'm just gonna have the one bread. That's enough. They're huge, but they're thin. Thinned out. Mm. But they're so filling. <laughs> mm. Nice to be chilling in the living room again. As opposed to what? All you do is chill all day, 24-7. That's good diluted, too. Anyway. Delicious meal. Um, I'm pretty full, actually. I ate that really quickly. I'm so, when I'm so yes. hungry... When I'm really hungry, I eat so fast. <laughs> Anyways, guys. So, I guess... Um, this is like phase one. He's starting to feel better. Um, phase one of so the cycle? Before I know it, I'll be able to be back out doing things and um, cooking, making cottage pie. <laughs> Yuck. I hate just 
being down and out. Um, That's your entire after life, a while, Like I said, I get tired and I just keep fighting. Keep fighting so, for what? Even the the nurses at the clinic were like, wow, you're walking and you're feeling a lot better. And I'm like, yeah, you know, again, alhamdulillah. Whatever. Oh, my God. Like, you've accomplished something. Anyways, guys. Um, so that's about it. I'm also going to be preparing for Ramadan. It's like March 10th. So that's soon. That's in like a month and a few days. Um, Let me guess. Diabetes will be your excuse yes. for not fasting. So I have Ramadan goals and thinking about what do I want to tr- achieve this Ramadan and how I want my schedule to be. Um, what kind of content I want to share, you know, about it. I think it could be a pretty interesting content. Um, anyway, and my birthday's in March also, so my birthday will also be during Ramadan, which is very special. So That means uh, nothing. Anyway, I'm going to... I'm going to head up now and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Well, if this is what her content is going to consist of, I mean, it's kind of boring. Um, I'm not saying that I want um, the hot mess express drugged out crazy Chantal back. No, because I was watching her before that, um, like with her stories she used to tell and just her goofy nature. Um yeah. But if she's going to continue with this kind of content literally um this post that she made she's literally not talking about anything. Um the only thing she did talk about was her non-injury alleged injury her sciatic nerve um acting like she um over came cancer or some crazy crap like that i don't know she acts like it's a great accomplishment so we'll see i don't know we'll see what she posts tomorrow please not another game um gamer stream that was that was horrible chantal you need to um at least if you're gonna play a game there's so many gamers out there that post gameplay at least watch a walkthrough of a game or read about the game find out about the game something Uh, before you embarrass yourself again so that's it for me everybody everybody have a great night and i'll see you when i see you bye